Hi everybody, Aaron here with another Microspot lesson for you, this time on the use of colours, gradients and patterns in MacDraft. Let's start with colours. All objects can have a colour applied to their fill or stroke. These are called attributes. Open the attributes palette via Window Attribute, select your object and then select the colour you want to use. If you can't see the colour you're looking for then you can create your own via Options New Colour. Create the colour you want and hit OK. Now when you use the Attributes palette you will see it in there. You can also edit existing colours if you wish. MacDraft also gives you complete freedom in creating gradients. Go to the option menu again but this time click New Gradient. Here you can choose a linear or radial gradient. Change the angle or position of its centre and of course change the colours. Click on the colour squares to change them and add more by clicking in the space between them. You can also remove these squares by dragging them off. Like with the colours, the gradients will be added to the attributes palette, but this time in the patterns and gradients section next to the colours. You can also edit or duplicate gradients. The duplicate option allows you to edit a gradient without replacing it. Finally, we have patterns. Patterns are one of the most popular features in Mac Drafts. They're used in floor plans and architectural drawings to display concrete, soil, gypsum walls, brick, pretty much anything you can think of. The great thing about patterns in MacDraft is that you're not just limited to black and white patterns. You can create full colour patterns which open up a world of possibilities. To create a pattern, again go to Options, this time New Pattern, and it will pop up with a dialog with a 32 by 32 pixel grid. Here you can freely create a pattern that will be repeatable. Once you're happy, press OK and find it in the Patterns and Gradients section of the Attributes palette. If you're interested in full colour patterns, why not try Home Plan or Garden Plan graphics available on our website. Well now you know how to create your own colours, patterns and gradients. Incorporate some into your next project and I'll see you again soon in the next Microspot lesson.